Hey everybody, it's me. It's uh, Martin Zender. Uh, yeah, right there. Crack of dawn report. Does the absurd earliness of the hour, does that stop me from teaching you about Romans chapter 14? No, not at all. I do my best teaching on Romans chapter 14 before 6 a.m. And fortunately, it's now 5.37. After six o'clock, I'm not even sure how many chapters are in Romans. Romans chapter 14 is about the freedom in Christ that we have to do stuff. What exactly do I mean by do stuff? Exactly what you think I mean. Did you realize that it's the people who are weak in faith that say no, 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 no to just about everything? I'm talking about even legitimate pleasures like putting toothpaste on your nose. Stop putting toothpaste on your nose, stop it. But in Christ, you have the freedom to put toothpaste on your nose, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. The first example Paul gives on this topic is surprisingly not about putting toothpaste on your nose, it's about eating. It's about a person who believes that he is free to eat all things. Romans 14, one and two. Now the infirm in faith be taken to yourself. One, indeed, is believing to eat all things, yet the infirm one is eating greens. Now, of course, you're going to want to eat healthy food, and you should. But what I'm saying is that you shouldn't be all worried that God is going to get mad at you, or condemn you because you eat Pop-Tarts. God has not condemned Pop-Tarts. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It used to be that the Jews couldn't eat pork or shellfish or Little Debbie snack cakes. But now, thank God, we can eat anything we want. The weak in faith is the person who, in Paul's context, is eating only greens. You know, like lime jello and apple-flavored bubble gum. It's like their consciences are going bonkers. Stop eating things that are not green. Stop eating things that are not green. Mm. Look, we are free to do many things in Christ. But Paul's point here is that we're not supposed to use our freedom in Christ to do these things to make other people who don't have that freedom do what we do. You can do it because Christ gave you the freedom to do it, but you're not supposed to make them feel bad in their conscience that they can't do what you have the freedom to do just because they don't have the freedom to do it. You understood all that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. This section just isn't about food. Paul talks about days here as well. I'm talking about verse 5. Paul talks about people, some people who observe special days, and other people, every day is the same to them. The guy who's in love with Christmas, for example. He does that and it's under the Lord. That's fine. That's his thing. But the guy who treats the most famous American pagan holiday like any other day? Bah frickin' humbug. Under the Lord. Look, everybody has their passion. Yeah, you have your passion too. I know you do. Is it candle sniffing? Is it Refrigerator petting? Maybe you eat Whiskas Temptations turkey flavored cat treats. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Crunchy on the outside, sauce on the inside. Or is your thing paper towels? What's my thing? I'm not sure I want to tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me think about this. Okay, I'll tell ya. My thing is licking salty olive oil out of a small cast iron frying pan. I discovered that when I salted my eggs inside my small cast iron frying pan that it left a delicious residue of the salt and the olive oil that I fried my egg in. Did I mention that this residue was delicious? If I didn't, I meant to. But I soon became impatient with using my finger to extract the delicious residue. Soon I began to lick the delicious, delicious residue directly, directly out, out of the pan. pan.
Now, I've tried not to let anybody else know about this until today. Uh, not that I don't think God approves of it, but that I don't want other people to stumble at my freedom in Christ. You preach the gospel? And that's exactly what Paul says in Romans chapter 14. He says, do not by your food destroy the one for whom Christ died. Take that, no faith. Now Paul says in Romans 14:14, 14, 14, there's an easy one to remember, that nothing is contaminating of itself, except that the one reckoning anything to be contaminating, to that one it is contaminating. So cool, it's only contaminating if you think it's contaminating. Listen to Romans 14, 20. All indeed is clean, but it is evil to the man who with stumbling is eating. If his conscience is bothering him, then it's sin to that guy. If your conscience doesn't bother you, eat it. Just don't brag about it to the poor guy. Verse 21, it is ideal not to be eating meat or to be drinking wine or to do anything by which your brother is stumbling or is being snared or weakened. Here's a really, really happy verse of scripture. I'm gonna leave you with this and then go back to my cast iron kinks. Romans 14, 22. The faith which you have, have to yourself in God's sight. Happy is he who is not judging himself in that which he is attesting. Again, that was Romans 14, 22. Enjoy the whole chapter. Read Romans 14. Enjoy the things that um, by the graciousness of the faith of God, he allows you to do. Just don't freak out your grandma. I'm Martin Zender, and we will see you next week with the Clanging Gong News.